Hey guys, Lainey here. Fall season, one of my favorite times of the year. Absolutely love it. You can start wearing kind of long sleeves or some nice comfortable sweaters and things like that. And what's better when it comes to food, right? We have pumpkin flavored items, spices, of course Thanksgiving is along the way, so we're gonna start looking at some foods for that as well. But today it's kind of a breezy, chilly day, and what's better than some great meaty type soup? So let's get started right away. Why don't you go ahead and take a look at the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe and join me over at the stove. Here we are at the stove and we're going to start with two packages of our Italian seitan that's going to be added into our pot um, and then we're going to add some seasoning to it. Get it kind of to cook for a little bit and we're going to start adding our other ingredients. We're going to start with a little bit of pepper. And the chorizo does have a bit of flavoring to it already, which is great. We're gonna add just a little bit of salt to that as well, and that is kosher salt. And then let's go ahead and add in our fennel. And this is fennel seed, and I did crush it a bit. So we're gonna get that right on in. And then we're going to add in a teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to add in a teaspoon of rub sage and then also a teaspoon of maharan. Once we get our seasonings in, we're going to just give it a little bit of a stir. We're going to allow this to cook together for about three to four minutes. If we find that it's sticking just a little bit to the bottom, we're just gonna add in a little bit of vegetable broth. We're then gonna add in our garlic we're just going to give that a little bit of a stir. And we're going to allow the garlic to simmer with it a little bit for about another minute. So now our lentils have been rinsed and sorted. We're going to go ahead and add in our lentils. And we're going to also add in our broth. We're then going to allow our lentils with the broth and our seitan to simmer for about 10 minutes. Once our soup has simmered for about 10 minutes, we're going to then add our remaining ingredients. So we're going to get our carrots in, we're going to get in our diced onion, Give that a little bit of a stir. We're going to get in our riced cauliflower. Our diced celery. We're going to add our diced tomatoes. We're going to add in our tomato paste, rosemary, smoked paprika, and our red pepper flakes. We're gonna give this a nice stir. We're also going to add in our bay leaf and just a little sprinkle of black pepper. Because I do watch salt content, you can add in additional salt to your recipe, um, but I will allow you to determine if you want to add in up to about another teaspoon of salt or not. We're also going to turn the temperature up to high, allow it to come to a boil, and then we will reduce the heat and allow it to simmer. We're 
Once our soup comes to a boil, we're then going to turn it down, allow it to simmer for about 25 minutes. Once our soup has been cooking for about 25 minutes, we're going to remove the lid. We're gonna give that a little bit of a stir. We can also remove the bay leaf at this time, or definitely you can leave it in there um, even as you store the soup, just for that added little bit of flavor. I am going to take about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, and I'm just going to stir that into our soup just to give it a very lively type flavor. We can then scoop out some of that yummy goodness. And here we have a meaty vegan lentil soup ready to eat. The soup is super yummy right out of the pot, but I really do like it the next day. The flavors seem to really melt together. The tomatoes break down just a little bit more and it's just yummy all the way around. I really hope you do enjoy this recipe. I know we will. As always, I'm super excited and happy that you can join me and take a look at the videos. If there's content that you would like to see that focuses on the vegan lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle, let me know. That could be my next video. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again here soon. Bye for now.